happens mm -hmm. if we have something nicely modeled in Blender, like this stove here, and we want to import this thing into Godot to use in our games. Fortunately for us, the process has never been simpler. The first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that our Blender model is saved inside of our project directory. So I have mine on my C drive in my Godot projects, that tutorial project that we've been working on, and then I just have another folder in here for models. And I'll just save that copy of my stove into that. Immediately after switching back to Godot, we're going to see that we have a pop-up that's saying we need at least Blender 3.0 on this machine to import the blend files directly. Now it's going to look for a path, and in my case it's found my program files, Blender Foundation, and that Blender 3.6, which is what I'm using. Now if that's not the location, maybe you have multiple installations, we can always browse to that. And I can confirm the path here, and it'll start to import those assets for me. Now, if it didn't auto detect your installation or you want to do this ahead of time, we can actually access these settings inside of our editor settings. So up in the top, we'll go editor, editor settings. Under import, we have that Blender 3 path, and that'll be that location for the executable for Blender. With the path set correctly in my settings, if I go to that project directory, open up that models folder, and I click on that stove.blend file, I can open that scene and it'll bring me into my import settings for that. And based on what it looked like inside of Blender, we're going to get a, an example here inside of Godot. And we'll have the scene and we'll have all of the breakdowns. So all of my meshes, if I select each one, it'll bring it up. And if I take a look at the scene as a whole, I have a ton of options over here on the right of making sure this is going to be imported exactly how I want. So do I want to bring in my animations or not? I don't have any, so I don't need to worry about it. Are we going to be bringing in any of the cameras or the lights to make sure that this looks exactly how we want? Do we want our colors, our materials if we're, for the animations? If we're bringing it in, are we going to limit the playback? Are we going to sample those animations and how we're going to bring it in? If I take a look at my meshes and then my materials, we're going to see the different materials that are going to come in. So I just have random colors assigned to it inside of Blender, but the materials are going to come into Godot. So it's a really easy way to get these models in. So I can re-import that, make sure my settings are set correctly. Now what I like to do is I create a new scene here and I'll make this whatever top level node I need for whatever the object I'm bringing in. So in this case, we'll use a static body 3D and I'll create one. Then I can bring in that stove model and I'll just reset the transformation back to the 0, 0, 0. Now at this point, it's gonna be telling me that, hey, we need some shapes, we need some collision. So I can just for this add a node and we'll say it's a, a collision shape 3D and go over to the shape and I'll just give this a nice box. Now I'll reposition this to where I need it and scale it up so it fits appropriately. Now what I can do is I'll just rename this to my stove and I'll save this scene into my project directory. So put that in the scenes. Now at this point, it behaves like anything we would expect. If I go back to my test world, I go into scenes, I bring in a stove and, you know, we'll move it down a little bit just so that way it's on the floor. And I play this now with my player, we can find that stove and we'll be able to interact with it. So. It's making collisions. If I wanted to use any other functions on it, now we have this object here in my world that we're able to interact with. The real benefit of using this method is if I pick anything in my Blender model now, I go to that material and I change the color. Maybe we want to make these a little bit purple and I resave that. Now, when I switch back over to Godot, it will re-import that model for me with the new colors in place. So by storing these Blender files inside of our Godot project, we're saving ourselves steps of having to re-export it every single time.